So, hey guys, how are you? Post a comment or message me how you are doing. I I really w would like to know how you guys are doing. And me, um, so so. I basically um a week ago I went to behavioral health again because my mom um I wrote a suicide letter. And the reason I did it was because, um, I kind of, like, I'm an impulsive person. Sure, I think about things through, but some things I just, you know, I do them on an impulse, like, obsessively. So, basically, um, my mom, brother, and I went to the store, and he was asking for everything. And my mom was already in a bad mood. And she was in a bad mood because she missed her dad, which committed suicide. I might talk about that in another video if you guys are interested. Um, and if I'm brave enough to... But, um, yeah. And she was just really sad, and that kind of made her... And my brother was, like, talking about tools and stuff, which he, like, really likes to talk about. And my mom, like, gets kind of annoyed when he talks about it. And then, yeah. And at the store, like, she was already really mad. I don't know why she got so mad over it, but... Who knows? So, anyway, so, yeah. Um, when we were at the store, she was, um, getting really mad because my brother was asking for everything in the store. And we did not have that much money right now. Like... Not at all, like, yeah, but we have money, but, like, you know, we don't have money to buy, like, like, three big bags of cereal and, like, ten, those ten dollar cheese things, and you know what I mean, like, just, we don't have a lot of money to buy, like, a lot of things, like, he was asking for a lot of things, so, yeah, um, well, yeah, we are kind of broke right now, I would say, because, yeah, um, but my mom's getting paid, like, in three days, so it's okay. Um, I kind of, like, drilled that on a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry if I sound like a dork right now. I, like, I feel really weird right now. Okay. So, basically, I went, um, I wrote the suicide letter because I was really sad, and I was going to overdose on my Respiridol, Prozac, ew, and my, the dog hair, and my acne, my decycliner done a cycling thing, um, yeah, I would take all the pills in each one, which I had a lot of pills left at that time, and it would have killed me, I'm pretty sure. I was going to do it in the school bathroom, because I thought it'd be kind of a motivating thing to do, you know, like, because I would see those people, and I'd be so sad and hopeless, and I'd just be like, you know, screw it, they don't like me, no one likes me, I don't deserve to be here, um, they don't deserve me, I don't deserve them, that kind of thing, no one deserves me because I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough for them, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. I just feel like they shouldn't deserve me because I'm not good enough for them. And that I'm not allowed to be deserved by anyone because I'm not good enough for them. If that makes any sense. But yeah, so then i just kill myself in the bathroom because it'd be easier. After seeing all those people that hate me, then I would, you know, do it. Yeah, um, then basically, um... On Sunday, I wasn't going to do it. I was just like, you know what? There's more to life than killing yourself. I kind of had to think about what I was doing before I actually did it. Like, I should really, really think about things through and wait a while. Like, it'll pass. Like, if you're feeling suicidal or, like, you want to throw up or you want to restrict, wait a while. Like, at least three hours or talk to someone about it and... Um, waste those three hours watching a movie, doing all kinds of fun things, making your room smell nice with perfume, cleaning your room, anything really, um, writing love letters, things like that, um, anything really, just, um, distract yourself from the feelings, and they'll eventually go away. And also, I learned in therapy that, well, um, in, at Behavioral Health, that, um, when you're in the moment, like, that thing that you really like to do, that, like, if you could only do one activity, in your whole entire life, for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mine would be, uh, I don't know, laughing. Yeah, laughing, definitely. So you know how you feel when you're laughing? You're not depressed. It's impossible to be depressed when you laugh and you actually mean it. Like, if you're just like, haha, like you're faking it, you can be depressed. But if you actually mean it and you're laughing really hard, you can't be depressed. But afterwards, you might get depressed again. So it's great to have that happiness. Um, a lot of the time, it's almost your time up with it, so if you like to read a lot, um, if you like to dream a lot, try to do that, um, but dreaming and sleeping aren't the best ways, because that's kind of, it's not really life, it's kind of your downtime from life, even though my life feels like the best thing about it is sleep, 
um, yeah, um, going on bike rides, hanging out with friends, laughing with them, just laughing, making jokes, um, be respectful of other people, of course, um, you know, just having fun, you know, doing things that you like to do, and things that you could try out, like watching movies and things like that, yeah, so just, that got really deep, but yeah, just, like, try to be really happy most of the time, don't fake it, if you're not feeling good, be honest, don't be completely honest, but, you know, be like, hey, I'm just, I'm not feeling that good today, you know, that kind of thing, but, um, yeah, so, oh yeah, I was talking about behavioral health, so I was there for three full days, <laughs> only three full days, yeah, I really normally, they're like, I feel like when I go there, I'm a completely different person, like, I can just grab the honey mustard and things like that and pour them on my stuff, and I'm not even, like, any disordered thinking at all, and then I get a little full afterwards, I don't, I wanted to purge once, that's all, well, two times, and actually, like, three times, my food, like, came up on me, and it was, like, it went on the desk on my paper, and then I, like, had to wipe it away so no one would see and think that I, like, went like that on my desk. Yeah, that would look, that'd be, like, <laughs> they, de they definitely sent me to Minnesota if I did that. I'd be, like, I threw up involuntarily. I didn't try to do it, I swear. And then they put me on a feeding plan, and then I'd only have to eat this much, and I'd be all happy. But then they'd think I need to eat more, and then they think I'm starving still. And <laughs> okay, so anyways, yeah. Um, I had a dessert, dessert bar a lot, and they basically just had lemon bars, which I wish they would have something different, like Cheerio bars. I love their Cheerio bars, and their lemon bars. Like, I don't know, I just, I love it there, and their food is so good, like, it's freaking crazy. I asked her to not put cheese on my wrap, it's good. Whoa, that was weird. I just thought I saw, I don't know. Okay, now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but yeah, so... They just have really good food there, and, uh, yeah, the full feeling only lasted for, like, five to ten minutes, and I was always looking forward to eating, because when you're there, it's kind of like, it takes too much thinking, you know, and then, um, I learned this new trick where you, like, you go on your hand, you do, like, a handstand, but I can't stay up for a long time, but I can stay up there, and try that a lot, I met some friends there, but one friend, her name's Kara. We switched numbers and last names. I added her on, her on Facebook. I hope she's doing okay because she hasn't accepted yet. And I'm probably going to text her tonight. I will text her tonight, actually, because I really want to, like, talk to her because she was my friend. Oh, my gosh. She was my roommate. Like, at the like when I first came in there, I didn't have a roommate, but I was in a double dorm room. And then this other um, adult came in, and they needed to make space for her because her parents didn't want her to have um, a double room, so basically she would have been my roommate if she wasn't, so yeah, um, so yeah, she's 12, I shouldn't say her age, <laughs> but yeah, she's 12, I'm 15, so there's kind of an age difference, but really she acts like she's my age, she's really mature, yeah, and a lot of things, and she's actually had anorexia when she was younger, and I can really relate to her, and yeah, so she's just really nice and honest up front, and I just really like her. She's, like, my best friend now. I really hope we can talk to each other again. Like, if she stops talking to me, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, cry. Not even kidding. She's, like, a really good friend. And I've never had such a good friend before. And I only knew her for, like, three days. More like two. I've only been roommates with her for two nights. Or two, three nights. Because she was in my room for three nights. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'm just rambling anyways. So, yeah, when I got back. Even after, um, eating, like, normal amounts of food that weren't overeating, like, purposely, I gained weight. Last time I went over there, I, like, ate like a pig, and I ate, like, all my plate, and I just, I, I honestly did eat too much. Like, I wasn't hungry anymore. I wasn't working out as much as I needed to to get rid of the extra calories that I was eating. Um, so anything like that. So basically, I gained weight this time. And last time I ate more, and I, I didn't gain any weight, and I gotta go, because my mom's home, okay? I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, so, it's just weird that I, like, gain weight this time, and I'm trying to lose it, and I'm not eating today. I mean, tomorrow, I'm doing, like, a one-day fast, and I, like, made this contract thing. Yeah, 
I gotta go now, so yeah, bye. <laughs> I just promised I'd make a video because some I didn't promise but I promised to myself because someone on Tumblr asked me when I make another video and I was just like I felt really bad and I made one this morning but it didn't really I don't know, I sounded really like out of it and weird. So yeah. So I'm gonna go now. Bye.